So hi, hello. This is again Alan, the Forex Algo Trader. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to close or open orders. That is uh, open positions and open orders. You may want at some point or at some point or at some time in this case, want to close all your open positions that are uh, executed by the market or all the pending positions. Maybe you have buy limits or sell limits or buy stops and sell stops and you want to close them all at once. It may be in a single click or maybe yeah something like that one. In your expert advisor or whatever their control future logic is in this case. So basically that is what I'm going to show you. How to close all your open positions and, and uh, maybe pending orders. Actually um, I want to even actually call them pending orders because we do not have any open positions. We usually have pending orders. So let us now jump into the actual business right away. So to do this one, you need to open Meta Editor, which you can do it by clicking on this little IDE icon over here. So or placing maybe a 4 in your keyboard. Either way, it should work. Then I will, uh, I will uh, just open my experts folder in this case because I want to show you how you can do all of these uh, uh, things in this case. So I'll just maybe go to algo trading folder, maybe expand it and do not need to expand it and I just need to highlight it or just be on the folder. Then click on new expert advisor from template then click on next providing the file name. I will just call my EA in this case close close all open orders close all open maybe positions positions and uh, and pending orders in that uh, case then doesn't really matter the the name that you give to your file then click on next next and then finally finish yeah super easy as that one so let us now get started so to do this one i, I would like to maybe basically go ahead and uh, and uh, maybe let me just expand this one for visibility purposes visual purposes then I just need to go ahead, maybe create a create a, maybe create a function in this case. Doesn't really matter. For, for me, I'll just go ahead and create a void function of data type. So void, then give it maybe what name do we give? Maybe the same name, close all posi or open open positions and uh, and pending orders or you can name your your function in this case any you can give it any function name in this uh, matter doesn't really matter then just go ahead and provide in the parentheses then provide in the curry brackets then which gives you access to the body of that uh, specific function then in this case now we just want to loop all in or uh, through all the positions in this case and uh, open and, and I mean close them. So let us maybe start basically by uh, by open positions. So we just want to maybe loop via all the open positions and uh, close all all of them in this case so to do this one we just use the for loop so we use the for loop if you do not know what a for loop is in this case you can just go back to my previous videos and check out so for loop just for then providing those uh, what are they called these uh, round brackets not parentheses or does it really matter these uh, round brackets over there then for integer maybe integer i maybe initialize it is equals to do uh, no let me just because i want to loop through them from the highest in this case to the lowest i'll just start my 
my logic from the positions total. Positions total is just a basically an inbuilt functions function in this case which gives back all the open positions. So I just want to loop through all the positions total. And in this case, instead of having, in this case, it will just give me uh, the total open positions in this case. So I, I would like now to negate one from the outcome of those positions so that we start basically at zero in this case. So then from here, we want to just go ahead and confirm that if integer i in this case now is greater than or equal to zero. If I had not put negative one over here, the, we would maybe have something like is equals to one, such a, a case in this in this uh, matter. However, in this case, I just want to, because we negate, we negate we, I mean we negate one from our total positions over here. We just want to go, just go ahead and uh, maybe print the the equate our i, the conditional statement over here now, to zero. Then from there, I just want to loop everything from the top. Just negate one from the top to downwards in this case. Then from here, we now give in the, the, the logic, just super easy. So just maybe we just want to uh, close the position all the positions that are open after looping through all of them. So to do this one, we just need to use another trading uh, function. We just need to include another something. Let me just show you in a bit. So we just need to include the trade class, which will enable us to close the positions through the trading operation in this case. So to do this one, just use hashtag include and then give it the control logic for the file that you want to include. In this case, there are two, ty two types of uh, including a file. I can either use uh, these uh, quotation marks, which refers to, which makes the, where the program interprets the, the quotation marks as you want to include the, fi the file that you want to include is here on the experts folder on the current folder where the file name is. In this case, the algo trading folder, the same file. However, in this case, I want to include it on the uh, includes folder, which is now the default one over here. So you use these uh, chevrons again to have a deep analysis of what these uh, include files mean. You can just check back on my previous videos for more explanation. In this case, I'll just give, I uh, just, what I just did is uh, I give a brief explanation of what the include file is in this manner. So using these uh, chevrons of the angle brackets in this case, you it tells the computer that you want to include a file that is based on the includes folder. Then go ahead and provide in the folder, the other folder where it is included. In this case, it is included on the trading trade folder. So just go ahead and, and type in the trade folder. And the name here should be matching the name of the folder. Then from there, you can either have this uh, normal slash or the back, I mean the back slash uh, like that one. Either way, doesn't really matter. In this case, I'll just go with the normal slash. Then from there, provide in the if there is another folder, then provide in the folder. In this case, there is always no any other folder if you are you have not already interfered with your includes folder. So just go ahead and type in the this is not the file name that you want to include in this uh, matter. So just go ahead and type in the file name. So trade dot m q h yeah. Exactly. So if I were now to go ahead, let me just show you in a little bit. If I were just to go ahead and compare this one, you can see we have some other files. However, you had not seen that one. So I'll just go ahead and comment that one out. Compile. So you can see we just compile one file, which is the current file dot mqa5 that we have right away open. However, if I were to and comment that one and compile it again. You can see we include some other files which have the name, the base name as the m dot mqh in this uh, case, which means we have included another some other files in our project. So just 
maybe I can open the trade.mqh file so you can see we have the C trade. So in this case from here, you just need to go ahead and create uh, an object using the C trade class which we have on the trade.mqh file over here. So to do this one, just use trade. So it is C trade class. Then here you can provide just any file name, I mean any object. In this case, you can maybe have a cat, maybe uh, maybe a dog, just any any name. But in this case, we should, wow, we have a dog. No, <laughs> we just have a do. I was surprised over that name. So just go ahead and provide in just any name. In this case, I'll just name my file, my object as trade obj obj in this case for object just something like that one which now will give us access to the files on this file that we have over here so we have something like uh, we just literally want to uh, close the position so that should be something like position close which is somewhere over here actually we have two which we normally call them overloading function we have two types of uh, position close function so literally this is exactly what we want to use this is a position close function that we have over here instead of just going ahead and coding the full uh, function by ourselves we just inherit it so to do this one the other thing that we want to do on our function which is now close or open positions and pending orders in this case we just need to type in the the, the object that we wanted then First, type in the trade, 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 trade. What what was the name of our function? Trade object. There it comes. Then to ask to give uh, to access the files, other files names on that uh, class, the uh, the C trade class, through the object that we have created over here. In this case, now the trade or trade object, we just use the dot operator. Have a look at this one using the the dot operator gives you access to all other program files that are included on the C thread class. In this case, you can use just basically either of uh, these one. However, what you want to do, we just want to close the position. So we just go to position, position, close. Then, yeah, you can either choose to close the position by ticket. In this case, uh, uh, what do we get over here you either you can either close the position by symbol you can either close the position by ticket or you can either close the position by ticket number so in this case i will just go ahead closing the position by symbol just typically closes all the 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 positions in this case eh? so what do we do over here what do we do over here let us just get close the position by ticket because I do not feel okay closing the position by symbol. I just want to close the position by ticket in this case, which means you will only close the position uh, after acquiring the, the ticket number. So to get the ticket number in this case, uh, I'll just go ahead and maybe have the ticket number. So the ticket number is usually a bigger one. So I'll use the data type U long. Okay, not equals to. Maybe I can have the position ticket. Maybe, yeah, doesn't really matter. Position ticket or whichever the name that you give over there. Then to do this one, to get the positions, uh, the, 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 the ticket of the position that we have selected, we just use position, position, get get a ticket yeah that comes it is a you long okay position get ticket then i in this case i then you can now go ahead and provide in the position ticket close that position by the ticket that you have acquired uh, over here so let me compare this one it does compile fine up to this extent now so this is now uh, we just close all the open positions in this case. What about closing all the open orders in uh, in this case? So we just want to, op I mean, close all the position orders. So close, no, we just, let me just have another comment, explanation comment over here. So we just maybe 
want to to uh, close we do not close we just delete delete uh, all pending orders so to delete all pending orders the argument is just basically the same so i'll just go ahead and copy this one we just need to alternate a few things afterwards so for integer i so in this case now we do not need the integer i our thing over here to be positions total we just want to select the orders in this case so we use the orders orders total there it comes orders total then the, the the rest of the argument remains the same at the in this case then over here instead of having now the position to uh, the position ticket we can have the order order ticket number then position get not position get ticket but now order can just alternate this one order get ticket then for the select, selected selected uh, data type over there then you use just the same object but in this case now we do not close the position we just uh, is it delete delete no okay delete order yeah order delete in this case so then order delete order delete by ticket order ticket so order ticket as it is over there so in this case now, if I were to compare this all, let me check it out. Yeah, it does compile fine. So right now we can, uh, this is now actually the full code for deleting all the open orders. In this case now, it will delete all the open orders and uh, positions irrespective of uh, the ticket, I mean irrespective of the magic number or irrespective of uh, how the the order or the position was opened in this case or doesn't really matter which symbol the the order is selected in this case so we can just go ahead and provide in some extra conditional statements uh, in this case it is very crucial however in this case if you just want to delete each and every position or each and every padding order on the market chart this is now the best code and the easiest code for you to go about however if you need some extra security maybe for some other given reasons or purposes you just need to just go ahead in this case and uh, and uh, integrate it on uh, on uh, on your code in this case or in your code in this case so basically that is now all the the full function for for closing all open positions and orders so you can just maybe go ahead and uh, use your function wherever that you want maybe you want to maybe you want to maybe you want to delete all the open orders and positions on the on init function in this case so you can just basically go ahead and uh, maybe call it and basically to call the function just need to type in the name then yeah everything is, is just okay just out of so you can just go ahead and use this logic on your expert uh, advisor currently do not need to just show that it is working by running it on a strategy tester that you'll just need to call us to maybe open some extra positions and uh, and uh, see us close the the positions that we yeah basically so that is all now uh, bye bye and uh, yeah thank you for your cooperation and listening so that is all bye bye and uh, have a have good and nice trades